Have you ever wondered how many different ways one piece of art could be interpreted? Well, every person who looks for meaning in a piece of art, in this case a sculpture, could associate it with a unique memory, person, or event. As you come around the bend in front of the Chandler Ullman building on Packer campus at Lehigh, a collection of sculptures may catch your eye, not the least fascinating of which being two bent steel columns standing upright alongside the pathway. This is a sculpture called, unsurprisingly, Two Columns by Ernest Shaw. Two Columns was donated to Lehigh University by Philip and Muriel Berman. Ernest Shaw, a New York City native, created two columns in 1976 out of fabricated steel. Shaw, who began his career as a psychiatrist, grew dissatisfied with his practice and began to pursue a career in art in 1976. Shaw writes in a biographical statement, Since then, I walk those two proverbial paths simultaneously. I am nourished by both, touch the world through both doors. The two life journeys nourish and inform each other, give flight like two wings of a bird. Both professions are the path of transformation, both an art. Shaw also created a collection of self-portraits titled No Self, which are essentially abstract paintings of himself, in which Shaw is barely discernible. Shaw explains that everything, including the idea of self, is constantly changing, in flux. This explains his artistic method to me, and further reinforces the idea that everyone interprets art in their own way, including the artist. When I look at two columns, probably as a result of being a native New Yorker like our friend Ernest Shaw, with their rust-like coloring and the fracture in their rectangular shape, I see the remaining steel columns left behind after the terror attacks of September 11th, 2001. 9-11's impact was so profound that even the generation who was not yet alive for the attacks, myself included, see things differently. There are so many different lenses through which one could look at this sculpture, just like any beautifully dynamic sculpture or artwork. In my opinion, the way someone interprets a piece of art can say a lot about where they've been in life and the experiences they've had. And if you're listening, more can be revealed about that person than you may think.